everyone welcome to the turning point in this session let us solve a problem on friction and the question is the given question is there are two blocks on inclined plane uh, one is having coefficient of friction 0.2 and the one is having coefficient of friction 0.3 with the surface the weight of both the blocks are similar and they are connected by means of a piece of string as shown in figure you are supposed to calculate the angle so what are may be the problem the procedure in friction is you need to draw free body diagram for each and every block and then you need to apply equations of equilibrium finally you need to solve those equations then you will get the solution first if you observe these two blocks so which block will have tendency to move first w1 right for that reason i am going to draw free body diagram of block w1 first so this is a block w1 so given that w1 is equal to w2 is equal to 22.25 newtons so i am considering with common letter w there so weight of the block acts vertically downwards this is first block w1 and uh, if you observe there it is connected by means of a string to the next block so along the string there will be tensile force along the string i am denoting with letter s you can consider t also your wish here this block is not able to move in this direction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface you need to represent reaction so which is nothing but normal reaction n1 so when you observe this one it will have impending motion down the plane so in the opposite direction you need to represent the frictional force which is nothing but f1 which is equal to mu1 n1 here the angle is alpha so then this one is going to be alpha for reference you can uh, uh, consider my earlier videos now w is uh, not along the plane or perpendicular to plane so i need to resolve that one so this is uh, w cos alpha and this is w sin alpha so now i need to apply equations of equilibrium there are two equations sigma fx is equal to 0 and uh, sigma fy equal to 0 when i consider sigma fy equal to 0 i can find the value of n1 later when i consider sigma fx is equal to 0 i can substitute the value of n1 in f1 right so for that reason i am considering sigma fy is equal to 0 which is nothing but the algebraic sum of force components along y direction so this is x for us this is y so along y direction what are the forces n1 along positive y direction and next w cos alpha along negative y direction so negative value minus w cos alpha no other vertical forces so equal to 0 from that n1 is equal to w cos alpha so this is the relation we got for n1 now let us consider sigma fx is equal to 0 so when i consider sigma fx is equal to 0 i need to consider the forces along x direction so along x direction the forces are mu1 n1 along positive x direction and uh, s along positive x direction minus w sin alpha y because it is along negative x direction equal to 0 from this s is equal to w sin alpha minus mu1 n1 so instead of n1 i can replace their w cos alpha from that s is equal to w sin alpha minus mu1 is nothing but 0.2 and n1 is w cos alpha taking w as common s is equal to w into sin alpha minus 0.2 cos alpha so consider this one as equation 1 so here i want to eliminate s why because it is not asked to calculate s so if i eliminate s there i can find the value of 
alpha. Okay, so this is the equation one I got when I consider the free body diagram for the first block. Now let us consider the free body diagram for the second block. Now considering the free body diagram for second block, remove all the contact surfaces, draw that block separately and they represent the weight. So W1 is equal to W2 that is given in the problem. So I am considering with common letter W and uh, along the string there will be tensile force and it is not able to move in this direction, in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface. So there will be one reaction which is nothing but normal reaction and it is for second block so N2. So if block W1 moves down the plane, so W2 will also have tendency to move in downward direction, right? So in the opposite direction represent the frictional force F2 which is equal to mu2 N2. Here if you observe these three forces are either along the plane or perpendicular to plane except W. So W is making an angle of alpha with vertical. So resolve this one into two components along horizontal direction and vertical direction. So this one is W cos alpha. This one is W sin alpha. So now we can apply equations of equilibrium sigma Fy equal to 0. Sigma Fx is equal to 0. When I consider sigma Fy is equal to 0. So this is x axis. This is y axis for us. So n2 along positive y direction. W cos alpha along negative y direction, no other forces right, so equal to 0. From that N2 is equal to W cos alpha. So this is the relation I got for N2. Now I would like to consider another equation sigma fx is equal to 0. So when I consider that S along negative x direction, so minus S plus mu to N2, mu to is uh, uh, 0.3 n2 is a w cos alpha and uh, w sin alpha acting along negative x direction minus w sin alpha equal to 0. No other forces, right? From this, I can find the value of uh, s. s is equal to w common 0.3 into cos alpha minus sin alpha. So, this is equation 2. Earlier when you consider free body diagram you got equation for S. When you consider free body diagram for uh, a second block you got equation for S. So uh, eliminate S by equating these two equations. Pause the video. Uh, take that. So now I am erasing this one. So I am equating those two equations. So first equation is W into sin alpha minus 0 0.2 cos alpha is equal to W into 0 0.3 cos alpha minus sin alpha. So W, W gets cancelled. W, W gets cancelled there. So taking sin alpha terms onto one side sin alpha, so if that one comes onto this side, so it is positive sin alpha is equal to uh, 0 0.3 cos alpha plus 0 0.2 cos alpha. From that, 2 sin alpha is equal to 0 0.5 cos alpha. From that, sin alpha divided by cos alpha is equal to 0 0.5 divided by 2. From that tan alpha equal to 0 0.25, alpha equal to tan inverse 0 0.25. So you can calculate that uh, while using a calculator. So observe there. So uh, there you should find D symbol there. So it should be in decimal mode system. 
so you will get uh, 14.03 degrees this is the value of alpha hope you like it if you like this video click on like button and don't forget to subscribe